Today we're going to be unboxing numerous packages that date back all the way to this past March. Oh yeah, stay tuned. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a very special and very long overdue unboxing video. As you can see, there are several packages around me. We have about uh, three, four, five, seven packages here. These date all the way back from this past March of 2021. Before anyone starts saying anything, I know I'm lazy. I have my reasons for waiting so long. I didn't mean for it to uh, go on this long. It was only supposed to be maybe a month or two uh, and then it ended up turning into eight months. I guess I just wanted to make sure I had enough content to kind of keep everybody interested. That way they would keep coming back for a video like this. And unfortunately, like I said, it's now November 18th. And I think uh, March 14th was the first box. Uh, I want to say it's this one. So what's in these boxes? Okay, so we have boxes here from ringside collectibles we have boxes from pro wrestling tees we have a pretty big box here from big bad toy store yep bbts since march i have a special package here from my buddy jacob at the uh, j2h channel i'm actually really excited to break into that one i can't wait for you guys to see what's in there got a box from amazon this one i'm pretty excited about the last package here is from my buddy evan the collector uh does have a youtube channel does a lot of star wars stuff if you guys like uh george from mce and hyperdrive star wars channel You'll like Evan. I'll link them down below. Go check them out. Let's go ahead and break all these bad boys open and see what kind of goodies are in there because I cannot contain this anymore. It has to happen. Let's go. But before we get started, I have to have some tea. Century of the Mad Collector does coffee talk. Well, I do tea time. And the tea for this evening will be oriental green tea with just a little bit of honey. Oh, that's actually pretty damn good. All right, let's go ahead and pick one of these boxes and get into it. Just gonna pick a random one here. You know, I'll just go to this top one right here, shall we? This one is from Ringside Collectibles. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this may have been my first order from them. This also, I believe, dates back to March. Um, actually, this might be the oldest one in here, but we'll find out. I think these are AEW Unrivaled Series 1 figures. Uh, I went on their site looking for some AEW, and uh, they had these in damaged boxes, so I grabbed Actually, I forget who I grabbed, but we're going to find out in a minute here. I believe there's like four figures in here. So I'm trying to figure out how they put four figures in this little box. But like I said, we're going to find out. Just shoved them right in. I see what they did. If you've ever ordered from Ringside Collectibles, which I'm sure many of you have, give you a little flyer when you make an order. I kind of like this. I'm actually going to... I'm going to keep this. Another thing for me to hoard. We have... Series 1 Cody Rhodes, right there. This is before the um, the re-release of these when they darkened the figures. Because you can see right here, if you wanted a Billy Idol figure, this Cody Rhodes is the perfect candidate for that. Whoa, this one's destroyed. Look at this one. Yeah, Yo, you want to talk about damaged packaging. Holy moly. <laughs> well, Series 1 Kenny Omega. I'm not kidding, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is crushed. Look at that. What is this? Even Kenny Omega's face says it all. What's wrong with my box? I mean, the figure's okay, just the box is destroyed. It'd be like beyond anything. There's that one. We do have Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. Boxes don't really, I mean, they're damaged like on the bottom there, but I don't think it's really enough to freak out about. They're, they're all gonna get opened up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. These ones don't look as bad, but they do still kind of look goofy. I don't know, whatever. We got them, that's all it counts. I still have to get a Chris Jericho and a Brandy Rhodes, but other than that, we're pretty much covered on series one. All right, so that's that. Thank you, ringside. Let's do this one. I feel like it's Christmas, guys. I really freaking do. Like, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to open all of these. This one's from Pro Wrestling Tees. I think this is more uh, AEW figures that the wife picked up for me. Let's take guesses. I think Sammy Guevara and... Ortiz or Santana is in here. It might be Ortiz. Here's the packing slip. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna look at this. I don't wanna know what's in here, it's a surprise. 
Oh, I'm wrong. It's not Sammy Guevara or Ortiz or Santana. It's the Series 1 version 2 Brandy Rose. So we got her. Very nice box. It, again, doesn't matter. It's going to get opened up anyway. So that could only mean Series 1 version 2 of Le Champion himself, Chris Jericho. I'm not going to lie. I do not remember her ordering these. So I guess now I can say I officially have all of Series 1. Comment down below. Would you guys consider Series 1 a complete collection if you have the original Series 1 and version 2 mixed in? Or does it have to be Series 1 regular and Series 1 version 2? Let me know down below. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Gotta take a break for tea time. Hang on. Mmm. Delicious. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am enjoying tonight's tea out of this really cool Biker Scout Return of the Jedi mug. Do this one next. This is another pro wrestling tease, but okay, this might be the one that I'm thinking it was uh, originally. For a while there, my wife was actually going crazy and buying the AEW figures that we needed that we didn't already have. You guys see this table back here? <laughs> that table is actually going to go over here. Uh, so I got entertained back here and I'll have a, t uh, like a dinner table, I'll have a table for videos. Big things are coming to the Jersey Geek channel, guys. So stay tuned. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. If you're new to the channel, please drop a like and subscribe if you like unboxings that, you know, take, you know, eight months to do. Um, toy hunts, toy shows, which I'm going to say at the end of the video. Thank you to everybody who's new. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys, actually. You guys are freaking amazing. All right, we have another packing slip. I'm not going to pay attention to that. I don't want to know what's in here. Looks like we have one, two, four AEW figures. Number one. We have series four, Matt Hardy. I gotta make sure I didn't already buy, guys, I already don't remember if I bought these or not. I don't think I did because I remember her specifically saying, don't buy them, I'm buying them on shopaew.com. If I did, I'm just an idiot. She's gonna yell at me anyway for it. Here's Sammy. And I got the hit me up sign. That means this has to be, yep, Ortiz. And this obviously has to be Santana. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. So now we have series four, so we can cross that one off the list. This big one I think is from Big Bad Toy Store. I think what I'm gonna do is hold off on this one because this is a pretty special one. Well, special to me, I don't know. You know, It's a matter of opinion if, uh, if it's special to you guys or not. I think we're gonna move on to my buddy Jacob's package. So my buddy Jacob, J2H, I'm gonna link him down below as well. I kind of sort of put him on a little bit of a mission for me the past couple of months out in his area to find AEW figures for me because this was at a time where we really weren't seeing too many of them around New Jersey. And I put the word out, hey, listen, you know, here's what I'm looking for. Let me see, let me know if you find anything and uh, let me know. I believe he found me a couple. I actually forget what's in here. It's been that long. If you guys follow my uh, Instagram, I shared uh, J2H, uh, he did a video a couple of nights, like a week back. I've kind of sort of infected him on toy collecting. So what happened was he was looking for AEW figures and he's finding them, of course. But then he kind of sent me a Snapchat and was like, you know, I kind of want this one myself. Um, so he bought one and, you know, Jake was primarily um, like a movie collector and reviewer, comic books. He does a lot of comic books, but he's a big wrestling fan. He's a big wrestling collection. Um, and now his figure collection is going to be pretty damn big as well. So he kind of had buyer's remorse at first. He bought just one figure. And I told him, dude, just, just sit on it for like a week, see how you feel. If you don't have any feelings towards it, take it back. It's 20 bucks, whatever. The week wasn't even up yet. And this dude goes, I bought two more figures. By the next week, he goes, hey, I bought two more figures. And now he's got quite a collection of AEW figures. Um, and I think he actually bought a, a DC figure as well, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, I'm gonna link him down below. Jacob, I don't remember what the hell is in here. We're gonna find out, but whatever it is, dude, I seriously, I appreciate you always looking out for me. Jacob's one of the guys that always looks out for me. Like, I never have a problem. If I say, yo, I'm looking for this, I'm probably gonna have a Snapchat within a couple days of, hey, here it is, do you want it? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, I remember. So these were a couple of clearance items. <clears throat> For $5 on clearance, the Back to the Future Toonie Biff Tannen figure. That was weird the way I just said that. The Back to the Future 
cartoony figures. Here's Biff Tannen. I like that one a lot better. We're gonna use that one. We have another Back to the Future Toonie figure. We have Marty McFly. So now I just need to get Doc. So here's those two, All right? Let's do this. What is in here? Oh, I remember. So there's no AW in here. We have a clearance Mego for $8. We have Tony Todd himself and Candyman. There's actually uh, three of these in here. One was for me. One was to keep on the card because I kind of dig Mego on the card. I mean, just look at, the, look, at the, look at the card. It's pretty cool. And then I think the third one was for a buddy of mine who probably at this point forgot he even wanted a Candyman. I'll reach back out to him and be like, hey, uh, do you still want the Candyman? Because I got him. So that's the package from J2H. Jay, thank you. I really appreciate you always looking out for me. Um, I know he has a package coming to me pretty soon. More AEW figures. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Yes, there'll be an unboxing of it. And no, it will not take eight months this time. But like I said, I'm going to link my man down below. Go ahead and check him out. Encourage him. Uh, get in his ear and be like, yes, buy more toys and have a big toy collection. Next box here we're going to get into is the uh, BBTS box. Because I think that's what this box is. I hope it's what it is. This one I'm pretty sure goes back to March. And I'll explain why I know that when I get it opened. Did you guys pre-order the uh, Storm Kung Lao yet? I did, waiting for him to come. <laughs> yes. This is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> oh, man. Look, it's bubble wrap. You can see it on the shelves all day and be like, oh, yeah, it's pretty big. But once you have your own in your hand, it hits differently. And that figure is... The Storm Collectibles Motaro. Oh man, look at this. Look at this guy. I've seen so many reviews on this. Listen, I'm just gonna say it right now. If you can still get this on BBTS, buy it. At first I kind of balked at the price tag. I think it was like 110. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, Motaro is not a small character by any stretch of the imagination. So him in action figure form is gonna be freaking huge. If you told me when I was eight, nine years old that one day I was gonna get a Motaro figure, I would have never believed you. I would have been like, yeah, okay. So this one's actually, I think, harder to find now. I think he's, you know, sold out. So you know what happens with Storm, just like with the WWE Ultimates. Once they're gone, they're gone. The other figure, which I'm really happy to have here, is Baraka, the Tarkatan warrior himself. So here's how I know these date back from March. So this was a birthday present to myself when it came out. And this was the only thing that I bought with our last stimulus check. I bought one for my birthday, might as well buy Baraka because he was readily available. And then the rest of the stimulus went to bills. Amazon. This I'm pretty sure is another storm collectible. And that figure of course, is Robot Smoke. Glare City, guys, I am so sorry for that. Smoke's always been one of my favorite cyborgs. I don't know why, I just think I just think he was just one of the coolest. All right, so the last package here is actually a pretty special one. My buddy, Eben the Collector, he actually hit me up on Instagram after I posted my Florida toy hunt video when I went to Disney back in April. And uh, he found me through there, followed my Instagram, and was messaging me. Because I usually post my videos uh, on my story mode. And he said, you know, I'm from the area. I really enjoyed your video. You, know, you hit some really cool shops. Next time you come down, you have to try this store, that store. And so we've been talking frequently since then. He does the hot toys, the statues, the prop helmets. Like, he does so much cool stuff. I said this from the beginning. I really think this dude's channel is going to be something big. I, I'm not saying it from a content creator standpoint. I'm saying it from a viewer standpoint. If I found this guy's channel... I would already be hooked because he's focusing on something that people like. That's the high-end Star Wars stuff. I'm going to link him below. Check out his channel. Give him a follow. Give him a sub. He went to, uh, I think it was Megacon or Florida Supercon recently. It's one of those conventions. He has a buddy that does artwork. And this is something he actually picked up from him for his own collection. I commented on the video and was like, hey, man, that's a really cool piece of art. If I ever, like see your buddy, you know, at, at a convention, if I ever come down there, you know, I want to get one of these myself. He hits me up a couple of days later and basically says, hey man, if you want that piece of art, I'll send it to you, like, free of charge. 
he's my friend, I can get one anytime I want. So of course, I was really grateful and uh, really can't wait to show you guys this. Oh, wow. Hey, wait a minute. There's a comic book in here. I wasn't expecting, oh, dude. Yo, this is awesome. It's a Wolverine number one variant edition. Terrible glare again for the eighth time, I apologize. Dude, Evan, seriously, thank you, man. I really wasn't expecting a comic book, but really, you're a good guy, man, seriously. You are a good guy. Oh, that's a piece of cardboard, it's not the art. This is the art. Oh, man. Yeah, this looks cooler in person, seriously. Oh, there's, another, there's something else in the back. All right. So this is the art that he sent me, that his buddy made. It's this really awesome kind of samurai Darth Vader. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because of the, the glare. It looks to be like maybe 11 by 17, which is perfect. I have a frame right over there that I picked up at Goodwill recently. So guess what's getting hung up tonight? Oh man, it's so cool. Just like a just like a simple Superman print, nothing crazy. But it's really nice. Again, I have another 11 by 17 frame. This will get hung up. This will actually go in my comics closet. I have a uh, a closet in the other room over here that has all my comic figures and artwork and stuff like that. So that'll probably just end up going in there. Yeah, this artwork is awesome. Unfortunately, I forget the name of his buddy. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to him when I'm done this video. And uh, I will have him linked down below. You can check his artwork out. Because of the glare, I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage here. So you guys can kind of get a better idea of this art. Dude, look at that. It's so cool. It really is a beautiful piece of art. Now I want to check out some of the other art he does. I think that's pretty much every package. I swear there might be like one or two more. I'm kind of upset now. It's like Christmas. You know, you have all these presents. Now there's nothing. There's probably like one or two more boxes buried in the mess back there. I'll end up finding them two, three months from now and being like, hey guys, remember this should have been in that video, but now it's not. <laughs> Be a whole new video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. First unboxing for the channel. So let me know down below what you guys think. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, if you like toy hunting videos, toy show videos, reviews, which we're gonna hopefully get back to pretty soon when I stop being lazy. Also comment down below, let me know if you like tea and what kind of tea you like. Make sure you turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. <sighs> kind of feel like a fat guy, man. When you're done Thanksgiving dinner, you kind of just lay back, let all the gut hang out. I'm bummed. I want to open something else. I literally don't have any other boxes. Like, really? Anyone have any boxes you want to give me? One, two? How about you? No? All right, well, whatever. Sit down. Hey, how about you? All right, whatever. Yeah, salute the chin chin. Well, good night.